Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood, and I just wanted to go over your options in our micro pump systems. Now we have our Screaming Demon in its micro size. I'll tell you what, this is the single baddest pound for pound unit we sell. The Screaming Demon has a chamber that's 24 inches. It stands vertically 25 inches high, and we were able to get a half horsepower pump in this thing. So this is a bad, bad boy. This is a little housing that's easy to DIY, yet it is wicked, wicked. All right, so the Bad Seed Micro, you, we could not fit a half horsepower pump in this. So the Micro and the Bad Seed is a one third power, but it's 24 inches and 18 inch dig simply the easiest thing to, to install right here so if your water problem isn't ridiculous where you need to pump 160 gallons per minute screaming demon territory then the bad seed might work for you it's super easy to install and from an econ standpoint it doesn't have the cost of the half horse power plant and then you know there's just so much welding and this welding's done by the True Craftsman over at Boffman Tile Company, and this is dual wall culvert pipe. So you can drive a car over these, an RV, whatever you want, and they're indestructible. So these are our two micro units. We got our micro bad seed. We got our micro screaming demon. Okay, here we have in both our micro units, we have duplexes. So let me tell you the two differences. There's two big differences here. And so the bad seed has a 50 inch chamber approximately on the duplex micro bad seed. It has two one third horsepower sump pumps. That is the difference. Over here, we have 45 inches of chamber, so five inches less, not a big deal, but we're rocking two half horsepower sump pumps. So the Screaming Demon Micro with the two half horse, I mean, this is the baddest thing on the planet. Right now, this is the leader. This is the latest and greatest. So we have inlet for the top. We got inlets for the sides. You know, we drill half inch holes all throughout the housings so that this half horse duplex, two half horse pumps, we want the water to flow into this housing as fast as the pumps can take it out, which they do. We've been installing these for months. We've been perfecting these for months just for the DIY. Now, this is what's really cool. So these are under our patents, we have seven patents we've been awarded, and these are under our patents, and we can now ship the Micro Bad Seed and the Micro Screaming Demon. We could ship it to your house in a box, or a couple boxes if you go with the duplex. So that is huge because before, the only way you could get one of the sump systems is if you paid for freight and it got shipped out on a pallet, which is costly. So for a DIY project, these are easy digs. You got 50 inches of chamber on this duplex bad seed with two one third horsepower sumps, and you got two half horsepower sump pumps with a 45 inch chamber. I just absolutely love our Screaming Demon unit. It really is awesome. Now people are like, what's the biggest difference in, outside of the big power plant? because you can fit the big, big half horse pumps inside the Screaming Demon. Well, if your French drain is at the bottom of the chamber system, in the bad seed, it'll leave water in the bottom of the chamber and in your French drain trench. Now we've done videos on how to install these properly where you want this to be lower this much lower than your French drain trench so the water just falls into the unit and you dr completely get every last drop out of your French drain trench or your yard drain or your roof runoff system so 
The spad seed in the micro is only an 18 inch dig. Super, super easy. If you're not in the best of health, I mean, this won't even put a callus on your hands. I mean, it's just that simple. This is a little more digging. It's 25 inches tall versus 18. It, you got the wicked, wicked power plant, whether it's in the single unit or the duplex, it's gonna have half horse in the screaming demon. So these are our micro units. We can ship them to you in a box. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Screaming Demon full frame and the micro Screaming Demon. Now, depending on your water problem, how much water you're gonna have rushing to this sump station that you're gonna design build, this is just to dig a hole and put it in and run all your plumbing to it and just lay the pipes in. But if you're looking for something that's gonna hold more water. This has a 30 inch chamber. It stands about 31 inches tall. So it's a little bit more of a dig than the 25 inches tall of the micro. So you're looking at the Screaming Demon full frame. You're looking at the Screaming Demon micro. 25 inches, 31 inches. You got a two foot chamber. You got a 30 inch chamber. The diameter on the full frame, I mean, it, it's there's a huge difference here. As far as the power plant, the power plant is the same. Now this has to be shipped on a pallet and this has to go out freight, the full frame. What's nice about the micro is we can actually get that in a box and ship it to your door. And the way we put them together, they're not gonna come apart in shipping. They're fully plumbed, ready to go. So. You got these huge monster inlets. It is draw in the water. We got our Screaming Demon Micro and our Screaming Demon Full Frame. The Full Frame does give you a sump viewer and a lot more inlet. I mean, it's, we got, you know, these half inch inlets here. We have half inch inlets here. So that does really, really make a difference. The pump is gonna have a hard time keeping up with the water that's gonna be flooding into these. It's really, really gonna be difficult for the pump to ever run dry. It won't, the float will just turn it off. But these are new systems that I absolutely love. I mean, we've been putting them in, we've been refining them for you guys, obviously we we had to file paperwork. We had to get our patent attorney involved, along with our trademark attorney. So we're attorney poor, but you know what? This is what you guys been asking for, the advantages to the Screaming Demon. One, they both come with half horse power plants. Two, that's a sump right there. You, When you dig your trench, all you gotta do is dig out like a five gallon pail and drop that in. Now you're going to pump every last drop out of your French drain, yard drain, roof runoff system that you're running to these. All right, let's take a look at the Screaming Demon in its full frame. Remember, we're 31 inches tall, so it's a deeper dig. You got 55 inches of chamber here. You got two half horsepower pumps. You got the two sumps. That's your full frame. This has to be shipped on a pallet. Unfortunately, this is freight. We can't get it in a box. Now let's look at the Screaming Demon uh, Micro. The Screaming Demon is set up same way, except it's 25 inch deep dig, that's it, and a 40 inch chamber. It's still equipped 
with two half horsepower pumps. So, I mean, this pound for pound, this thing is just ridiculous. Now, the beauty about the Screaming Demon Micro, we can ship this to you in a box. It will come in two boxes and it'll be in two pieces, but it easily snaps together. All the plumbing and everything is fully assembled. Literally just snap this in, nothing to it. No tools needed, DIYers. This is as good as it gets, the Screaming Demon. All right, let's take a look at the bad seed in the full frame and let's look at the bad seed micro so here's the bad seed micro you have inlets on both sides and you got a one-third horsepower it's 18 inches tall and it's 24 inches the chamber that's your micro and the benefits are you can easily dig an 18 inch hole and this ships in a box so no freight so that's that's all the pluses. So now let's go to the full frame bad seed. Let's talk about this. All right, so we're 24 inches tall. We got a 30 inch chamber. Now, unlike the bad seed micro where you have 12 inch outside diameter, this is a whopping 15 inch outside diameter. So that's gonna hold a larger volume of water. If you feel that you have so much property, so much sheet water coming off driveway, so much sheet water coming off the roof that you're gonna have so much water coming at this system that you're gonna actually need more on-site storage. You're gonna want the full frame bad seed over the micro. Not only will it hold more so the pump can catch up, that has a half horse power plant versus a one third in the micro. Now sure, there is a price difference. And when you can ship this in a box versus this has to be shipped on a pallet, huge, huge cost savings there as well. Of course, the full frame gives you the sump viewer. The Bad Seed Micro does not. So there's your differences. And those dimensions I gave you on the chambers, it's the same for our Screaming Demon. This is our Bad Seed Micro with the one third horse and our full frame bad seed with the half horsepower plan. All right, I wanted to put our two heavyweights side by side so that you can see the full comparison. So the chamber here is about 55 inches on our Screaming Demon full frame. It's 31 inches tall. It has two half horse. I did not, the reason why that does not have a second pump in it is because I literally could not pick this up myself, so I had to pull the pump. But it normally has two half horse power, power plants in this. Everybody always says, I can't have it pointing this way. I got to have it pointing that way. We have Schedule 40 in our store that will bend this way. It'll bend this way. You could put this in and flip flop it, end, over, end for end, whatever. There's no limitations when you're using our PVC that we sell in our store. There's an econ that is white and it's stiff and hard to work with. I'm just gonna come clean. Or you can go with the black and it's very pliable and it's 10 times easier to work with. Inch and a half, schedule 40. Comes in rolls of 50 feet, seamless, leak proof. Since we have these half inch inlets, half inch inlets throughout this whole system, the water just comes barreling into the system. You no longer have to tie pipes in and worry about having a connection point here, worrying about having a connection point here. You don't have to worry about having two on this side and three on the other. Why? Because you can just lay all your pipes from your roof runoff system, your yard drain system, your French drain system, lay them right in the sump pit, and it's just going to run right through the housing to the pumps, and then the pumps are gonna take care of business from there. 
All right, so our other full frame, this is our bad seed. This bad seed is 24 inches tall, easy digging. It's got a 60 inch chamber. Both of these units have a 15 inch outside diameter. Big chambers, big inlets. You don't need hookups anymore. The bad seed, it's gonna discharge just the way you see it. Now, can we do one in that direction and one in that direction? Absolutely. Can we do on the Screaming Demon, one this way and one this way? Absolutely, but that is it. That's all the flexibility these units have when you start pushing. I mean, think about it, guys. We got two half horse pumps Think about that. Look at the power plant. Again, that would normally be stubbed with a sump viewer on our Screaming Demon. It was just too heavy for me to place by myself. This is something that I'm doing a quick comparison on the weekend for you guys to make it easy for you to choose between the Screaming Demon and the Bad Seed Duplex models. They look a lot different. Now, if you are setting your Screaming Demon or Bad Seed is going to be right at the level of your trench, you need to go with the Screaming Demon because it has a sump that the pump sits in. So it's going to pump that trench dry. Now, the way we show you to install the Bad Seed, it's supposed to be in the ground, you know, that much more, guys, so that the water just falls into it. When the pump shuts off, there's gonna be some water sitting in there. So you can't have this laying on your trench at the same depth of your French drain or your French drain won't get pumped dry and we know what's gonna happen. Trees can sniff that water out and fill your trench full of roots. So in any case, these have to be shipped on a pallet. As you can see, they're just too big, too bulky. There's no way we can ship these in a box. They're too heavy. So these are our two right here. These are our two heavyweights. The full frame and the Screaming Demon with two half horse pumps and our bad seed in the duplex with two half horse pumps. They come just the way you see them as far as how they're laid out. All right, guys. This should be a great guide and help you tremendously in making your decision which one is right for you.